Hi, this is Justin again with Mid-America Hearing Center in Mount Vernon, Missouri, and uh, we're just going to take a, a minute here just to talk about uh, battery insertion and removal on a high-powered, behind-the-ear uh, hearing instrument. Um, one thing I will point out is, is that yours may look different than this, uh, considerably maybe even without the volume control wheel or um, uh, yours may have different buttons, um, the different uh, coupler um, uh, like the, the ear mold may look different, things like that. But uh, essentially the change in the battery is, is uh, uh, essentially the same in, uh, in all of them. Uh, typically at the bottom portion of the hearing instrument, the, the hearing instrument sets over the top of the ear like this, like you've got the ear, uh, the back of the ear, and then this part here um, goes in the ear. This part here hangs over the back of the ear. Well, down at the bottom, you've got a little door that pops open, and some of them pop open like this, or some of them may have... Uh, um, larger opening, um, uh, larger ways of opening, you know, little tabs or different things like that. But they open like this. And then this one holds a 675 battery, what we call a 675 here at Mid-America. And uh, it's a large, very large battery. Um, and it's uh, typical for high-powered hearing instruments, uh, uh, behind-the-ear hearing instruments to... Uh, um, to have these and uh, so what you do is, is they'll have a little tab on them this is a zinc air battery so they have a little tab and you just pull the little tab off and once you remove that tab then you've got a flat edge okay see how flat that is there and then you've got a beveled edge all right the beveled edge is the bottom of the hearing aid or bottom of the hearing battery. Okay, so the flat part, it's flat up here, that's the top, and sometimes, and you probably can't see it here, but um, maybe if I move it up real close there, you can see there's a little bitty plus sign right there. So that kind of tells you that it's the top of the battery. And you just take that, you want the, that plus sign to face out, the beveled side to go down. And that just kind of fits in that little door, nice and flush. You want to make sure that anytime you put a battery in whatever style hearing instrument you put it in, that it sets flush. You don't want it to be too shallow or too far down or stick up too far because you don't want to break the case on the hearing instrument when you try to shut the door. Okay, then we just shut the door like that, and then whoop, we get some feedback there because the hearing instrument automatically turned on. Okay, and that's how to put a battery in. Okay, and then just to uh, turn the hearing instrument off, you can pop the door open like that, and that shuts it off. If you need to remove the battery, you can open the battery door like this and then tip it. And it'll fall out. Sometimes it'll fall out. Sometimes it won't. If it doesn't, then take uh, a pen or a pencil or something, and uh, or something you know, and push through this opening. Most of them have an opening in the bottom of the battery door, and you can push that battery out, and then replace it with a new one. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us here at Mid-America Hearing Center in Mount Vernon, Missouri. And thank you very much for watching.